Hello, I'm Alan Bagnall, I'm an interventional cardiologist at the Freeman Hospital at Newcastle upon Tyne. Today we're going to do a demonstration of measuring left ventricular ejection fraction in a patient using left ventricular angiography. So what we've done here is taken a pigtail catheter across the aortic valve and placed it in the apex of the heart. Uh, you have to be careful as you're coming across the valve, it can sometimes take a little bit of uh, patience to come across um, and the key things to look out for really are that you've not crossed through the mitral valve apparatus. Um, if, uh, if as it is here that you can advance the catheter into the apex, watch out because that can then sometimes give you some, uh, a lot of ventricular ectopy which can make interpretation of your left ventricular gram difficult. So we've connected our pigtail catheter to a power injector. We've injected around 30 to 40 mils of contrast, 10 mils per second, and we've got uh, an LV gram here. You can see that there's some abnormal motion of the anterior wall of the heart, which is uh, uh, moving in a paroxysmal fashion. So I'll show you now how to do the, um, the measurements for looking at ejection fraction. So the first thing that we need to do is pause our uh, cine loop and go through frame by frame until you find the uh, frame of systoles and diastoles. So we're looking for the maximum size and the minimum size. So we'll just flick through those again. Took a long loop here. Okay, here we go. I think that was about where we had our smallest size, so we click on this and we use this tool here to click around the margins of the left ventricle. This is a sort of aneurysmal segment just there. And you, the closer these are together, obviously, the more accurate it is. Coming across the mitral valve here and across the aortic valve and you end by double clicking in the, uh, in the first circle that you've drawn. We we'll click on our rotational axis and draw the center line through uh, our thing and then we come on to do the same for our end diastolic uh, pictures. So this is the frame which has the maximum size of the LV cavity. So click around here again Coming around the apex. Over across the mitral valve, aortic valve, and then just close the loop. Draw across our rotational axis again. And that's it. And as you can see, our ejection fraction is really quite low here, 35%, so just into the, uh, the realms of severe left ventricular dysfunction. And that's really the impression that we got visually from this LV gram. Uh, where we could see that uh, the degree of contraction was pretty small. There was a number of beats before the um, contrast was completely cleared from the left ventricle, and we could see this dyskinetic segment of the anterior wall. And that's how to perform left ventricular, uh, ventricular angiography.